gentlemen and welcome back to another episode of our non-league to legend save and today we're here with an away game against Derby County. Now I nearly went into this game without recording because there was a few issues with recording because it just wouldn't start up. So we'll just show you what has happened since you were last with us. Now you was last with us for the first game of the season away from home against Bournemouth. We did win 1-0. We then went on to beat Sheffield United 2-1, Walid Magoub and Roberto Massimo getting the goals, then beat Northampton in the Carabao Cup 4-1, Dane Warmer getting a hat-trick, da Danny Olmo getting the other goal in that game, lovely little performance. Then we slipped up against Sunderland away from home at the Stadium of Light, 2-2 draw, Inigo Gonzalez and Vitor Ribeiro with the goals, both strikers getting a goal in that game, and yeah, I mean, we were very, very poor, but we did come away with a point in the end, so it'll do. Then we beat Charlton Athletic 3-1 at home, who were top of the table at the time. Do Jake Doyle Hayes getting a goal and Inigo Gonzalez getting two goals. Very, very good performance there. And uh, yeah, the following game didn't go so well, did it though? We lost 1-0 to Queen's Park Rangers at home. And we were just, we really wasn't at the races that day. We did have a little bit of a rotated side. But yeah, we wasn't brilliant. Then we went and beat Gillingham 3-2 in the Carabao Cup second round. We were comfortable 2-0 up, started falling apart and uh, luckily got a goal in the 93rd minute of the game. Danny Olmo getting a hat-trick in that game. Very, very good performance from him. Everybody else was a bit shaky. Then last game, last time out, we beat Leeds United 3-2. Walid Magoub with two goals and Vito Ribeiro getting the other goal in the last seconds of the game. Now, I think there's been some transfers since you were here last time as well. We've still got £30 million in the bank. I haven't bothered to bring anybody else in. Not really sure if I told you about Gino van der Waal. But we have signed Gino, Va Gino van der Waal. We were looking at him throughout the entire summer. We brought him in. He's a two and a half star current ability. We can't see his potential right now because he's not with us. Oh, there it is. Five star potential. He looks very, very good. He's operating at League One level right now. But we've loaned him back to RKC, um, yeah, some Dutch team, <laughs> yeah, whatever, he's in some Dutch team playing, it's fine, so, who did we let go, we've let a lot of players go on loan, Simon Olsen, a player went out on loan, obviously Van der Waal went out on loan, and yeah, a lot of them you won't know, but Simon Olsen, really a failed signing, we brought him in for £3.3 .3 million in the January transfer window, only played four times for us competitively, just really wasn't that good. I really didn't enjoy him. And uh, yeah, that means overall he's going. So he's gone out on loan to Empoli. You probably won't ever see him play for us again. So let's get into the match. Let's go back to this. For today's game, away from home here at Pride Park, we've got Re Re Reselde in goal. I forgot his name there briefly. Back for Darist, Indica, Liam Moore and Hoffman. With Illich playing in the CDM role, Raskin and Phillips in midfield, with Massimo, Magoob and Brooks making up the front three. Now, we'd normally have Cuenca here, but he did get a straight red card in his last game. I tried to appeal it. They didn't add on an extra appeal like they normally do, so he's only got a one-match ban. So, Cuenca will be back in the near future. Next episode, I'm hoping he won't have any problems and he'll be back. So, let's go and carry on from where we left off in the last match. Let's get into this. Let's hope that we won't embarrass ourselves today and get a nice little result. Just a uh, good early start. We've had a shot saved. Magoob with the free kick. Uh, we're seeing the goal line technology. Yeah, we know it didn't go in. The keeper saved it. It's a fine game. But yeah, we've started Brooks today because uh, Ribeiro's just returned from an injury. He had a few days off during the international break. He got injured. Gonzalez uh, hasn't scored for a few games and Brooks is playing against a team he was on loan to last season so I'm hoping he's got a point to prove. Let's go get creative. Hepburn Murphy running our defence. Goes into Tullock to Lawrence. Good block there from Darist. Goes forward to Brooks. Brooks has got the ball. He's running at the defence. Brooks to Magoob. Yes! Come on! Dennis Brooks with the meandering run brilliant well i say meandering run he ran in a straight line he got past all the defenders and made a lovely little through ball there to Walid magoob who puts us one nil up the under 18 under 21 french international is one or the other i think he's under 21 because he's 18 years old 
But he's a very, very talented player. I'm so happy I found him in the January transfer window. And uh, I can imagine if we stay at Norwich for a few years, he'll be what we're building our side around. He's very, very talented. Bennett crosses it in. Hoffman just gives it back to Bennett for some reason. Rosalde with the save and it's he's punched it right into the path of the Derby attacker, Tullock. And it's 1-1. <clears throat> Not the best of football there. We don't need to see the replay. And that's a highlight straight away from the kickoff, which it can be a good thing, it can be a bad thing. I don't really know. Magoob to Hoffman to Magoob again. Magoob, have a strike, mate. Magoob! Ah, oh, it's too easy for Dadovic. Dadovic? Dadovic? I think I got it right the first time. But, yeah, it's not the best of performances from us so far today. But we can hopefully steal... I would I would say steal, yeah, we're, we're having all these shots, but if you look at the actual overall game, Derby are literally holding their own and they're doing a good job. So let's go assertively, we're not doing very bad at all, go out there and we'll get the victory if you work hard. Now something I nearly did was I nearly replaced my assistant manager, but I didn't want to pay £350,000 to sack the previous one, um, so for now... I was just going to stick with him, let his contract run down at the end of the season, if we're still here in Norwich, which I, I can imagine we will be, to be honest, at this stage. Let's go demand more. Uh, yeah, I can imagine we will be with Norwich. But, yeah, um, we'll bring somebody else in new. And Tolok has scored, and we are 2-1 down. Goody. Right. Um, ba -ba -bum -bum. What can I do to change anything? Let's get Gonzalez on for Brooks. Brooks hasn't really been at the races today. I mean, he got the assist, but other than that, he hasn't done much. Illich not playing very well, so let's bring... Do you know what? Let's bring Garner on. And let's bring Garner forward. And we'll do that, I think. We'll have Garner as a centre attack. Centre midfielder on attack. Let's try that. Let's go for an extra man in midfield. An ex one less in defensive roles. And let's just push forward and try and try and get something out of this game. <clears throat> it might open us up at the back, but we need to try it. Magoob to Gonzalez. Gonzalez to Raskin. Raskin, go out wide. You've got Darius out there. Good ball. First time cross. Magoob. Magoob. Waleed Magoob puts us back level. We're back in this game. I'm losing my voice a little bit, as you can probably tell. But we are back in the game. It is 2 all. <coughs> First time volleyed cross there from Darius, put it onto Magoob. Great save from the keeper, but he just taps in the rebound because it was punched right into his path. Now we're going to go and try and get creative if the game lets me. Please, please, please game. <clears throat> Let's go get creative. Massimo, Raskin, can we win this game? Massimo to Darius. Darius got the ball, loses it. No one's gone for... Why is number 30 Raskin just stopped going for the ball there? He should have been on that. Tolok is in behind. Rosalde, great save. And then very, very well dealt with by Hoffman. Oh my word. Come on, please. Indica gets rid of it. Come on, lads. Push forward, push forward, push forward. We're going to make the final change here. We're going to bring off... We're going to bring off Massimo and we're going to bring on Dane Warmer, who's been in really good form. And he's one of our own as well. So let's get him on. Let's see if he can grab us the winner we need today. <clears throat> Come on. Come on. Please. Please, game. Push forward. Push forward. It's not going to be enough time to change that. Nope. We are going to... Oh, please clear it. Indeed, he gets rid of it. We are going to be drawing here at... Away from home against Derby County. I nearly said at home. But no, I, re I remembered we're away. <laughs> we're at Pride Park. But it is a draw. If you look at those stats, you'd say we really deserve to win. But to be honest with you, I think a draw is fair enough. Um, I think a draw is fair enough. But yeah, um, I'm going to say assertively though. Um, unlucky it wasn't our day. I think that covers it. So let's get into the, let's load up here, let's see what the next game will be that I'll be bringing you next episode, when the game decides it wants to load. 
I mean, I would bother to edit this bit out, but to be honest, I spend more time editing to get remove this part than it would actually remove, so it's kind of a little bit pointless. Uh, why is it showing me Olsen? I don't really care. Uh, schedule. Let's have a little look. I think next time you'll see us will be... Where are we right now? 14th of September. We'll come back for the MK Dons game, the one straight after the international break. So yeah, next episode will be against our former side MK Dons. So guys, I hope you've enjoyed this episode. If you're new around here, please subscribe for more. If you enjoyed this, leave a like. And I've been Chris12LFC, and I'll see you later.